catch them all. Hey guys, Pokedan here. We all love the Pokemon anime, and as of recent, Ash and his iconic Pikachu have been adventuring through the Alola region in the new Pokemon Sun and Moon anime. They've made new friends, caught new Pokemon, and taken on the trials of Alola. And honestly, I'm loving the Sun and Moon anime so far. In fact, if you've not guessed already, the Sun and Moon anime is the focus of today's video. But I'll leave it to today's guest to explain more. Alright there trainers, I'm some northern guy, and much like Dan, I'm a massive fan of the Pokemon anime. I especially like the characters in the Alola anime, and in this video, Dan and I will be discussing what Pokemon we think each character should get as their adventures in Alola continue. By the way guys, this is only part 1 of our 2 part collab, so be sure to check out part 2 over on some northern guy's channel once you're done here. Also, take note that this top 10 isn't really ranked. Because whatever Pokemon these characters obtain, let's face it, it'll be awesome anyway. But with all that being said, let's get started. This is the top 10 Pokemon for characters in the Sun and Moon anime. Kicking off this list at the number 10 spot is a Pokemon we believe the character Marlow will obtain. It's Zarina. Now yes, we know that she already has a Steeny, so this isn't really a new Pokemon for her team. But nevertheless, we strongly agree that her Steeny will evolve again at one point in the anime. Marlow's Bound Suite evolved into a Steeny pretty early on in the Sun and Moon anime, so there is plenty of time for Steeny to learn Stomp and evolve again. We can see this evolution taking place somewhere around Ula Ula or maybe Pony Island where Marlow gets trapped in a sticky situation and Steeny evolves in order to protect its trainer. Zarina and Marlow would be a great pair and we'd love to see this evolution take place. At number 9 we have a new partner for Lily in Stuffle. Now I think we can all agree that Stuffle is absolutely adorable. I mean, come on. Just look at it. If Stuffle were to join the gang, we can't think of anyone better than Lily to catch it. She'd probably come across Stuffle injured somewhere in the forest, and being the very kind-hearted person she is, Lily would take care of Stuffle and nurse it back to health, so Stuffle would come to trust her and join her team. Stuffle really suits Lily, and I think it would be cute to see it interact with the beware that loves Team Rocket oh so much. Coming in at the number 8 spot is a new Pokemon for Lana, and it's a Chinchou. Now I know what you guys are thinking, oh Dan, you only want this because Chinchou's your mascot. Exactly. I love Chinchou, and it would be great to see one on Lana's team. I could see Lana capturing this beauty in an episode devoted to fishing. She drags this cute little guy up from the water, then hurls a dive ball and captures it. At this point in the anime, Lana only has a Poplio on her team. And let's be honest, she could really use a new member. I can see her Chinchou becoming good friends with Sophocles' Togedemaru, possibly by sharing its electricity with Togedemaru. This Pokemon would be a great addition to the anime, and I'd love to see it happen. At number 7 we have a new addition for Kiawe, Magby. We feel that since Kiawe is a very serious character for the most part, with big powerful Pokemon like Turtonator, Marowak and technically Charizard as well, it'd be kind of sweet if he had a small cute Pokemon. Dan and I think Kiawe could get Magby as an egg, maybe finding it abandoned whilst flying over Wella Volcano Park on his Charizard. Raising the egg and looking after Magby once it hatches would bring out Kiawe's softer parental side, something we both really want to see more of. Magby could be timid at first using smokescreen to hide itself whenever anyone except Kiawe gets close to it, and Kiawe could help it come out of its shell a little bit. And on a personal note, I'd love to see one of his Pokemon playing around with the other Pokemon in the group. Turtonate is just too big, bless him. Up next is a new addition for Ash's Alola team, and since his team is currently lacking a water type, we think that a great new member would be Dewpider. 
you've got to admit, Dewpider just looks like an Ash Pokemon. It's small, cool looking, and it potentially could be a strong member of Ash's team. I mean, especially if it evolves later on in the anime too. I could see Ash's Dewpider being a rather mischievous Pokemon. And it first meets Ash and the gang when stealing food from them. I mean, we all know how much Ash loves his food, right? So, safe to say that Dewpider won't just be getting away with stealing it so easily. After Ash battles Dewpider for the food it stole, he decides to take the water type on his travels. I could really see this happening, and honestly, I'm all for it. But anyway guys, that pretty much wraps things up for this video. I hope you enjoyed and if you did, be sure to leave a like and subscribe for more. As well as commenting down below what Pokemon you want to see a character obtain. Also, make sure you check out part 2 of this video over on some Northern Guys channel. But with all that being said, for now, I've been Pokedan, you've been amazing, and I'll see you guys next time.